Hello everyone, this is Dave from Dave's Recent Things. Today's video, I'm going to do a little bit of a rustic Valentine's Day wreath for you. Normally, I love those bright reds, the bright pinks, the bright whites for Valentine's Day. They're kind of like shoved in your face. They're so bright and I love that. But today I thought, you know what, why don't we add a little bit of a twist, a rustic twist. So using some jute rope and some ribbon from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to create a little bit of a rustic Valentine's Day wreath. That's not so much boom in your face with the bright reds and the bright pinks and the bright whites. <laughs> but I do have a video that does show all those colors too. Anyways, why don't we just get started on our rustic Valentine's Day wreath. I am going to be using the 14 inch wire wreath frame from the Dollar Tree with this jute rope garland that I purchased there as well. Some of this burlap and red nine foot one and a half inch wired ribbon. This little heart that I got and I'm going to be using red paint, a paintbrush and my scissors and my handy dandy Sherbonder glue gun today. I first start off with a little bit of paint and that little rustic heart there. I guess it's made out of bamboo or wood or something wrapped around a wire heart frame. And all I'm doing is just very quickly giving it a top coat of that red color. And then when I compared it to the ribbon, I, I felt it was just a little bit too red. So I'm gonna come in and use a little bit of brown and I'm gonna use my existing paintbrush that has some red paint on there and just kind of mix it together a little bit just to tone that red down just a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is mix the two colors together briefly, and then I'm just going to quickly go over it with my paintbrush. And you can kind of see right there, it does tone down that bright red. But again, I don't want this to be full coverage, just a little bit. And I still want some of that bamboo or wood to show as well. I'm gonna let that dry. And as I let it dry, I'm gonna start wrapping my jute rope and my ribbon to my wreath. So I'm going to start with a little hot glue on the back side of the wreath, right where that crossbar is, and that's where I'm going to attach the rope to it. And I just hold it in place until it dries. And then what I'm going to do is with my left hand, I'm going to hold the rope in place, and then I'm going to wrap that rope around. And it's going to be four times that I wrap this rope around. So you can see here, just as I start off, I am taking my time. I'm holding it with my left. I'm going to wrap it around the four times, like I said. And this is going to be the start of our little pattern that we're going to do on this wreath today. And what I do is I add a little hot glue on the back side of my ribbon. And I'm just going to glue that right down to the frame, right beside where I started my first round of that rope. Then I'm just going to lay it out see how it looks and then I'm going to do two loops with the rope. So we started off doing four loops and then we're going to do two loops. So basically for the four loops your ribbon is on top and for the two loops the ribbon is below. So now that's going to be our pattern. I'm going to end this right here and I'm going to put my ribbon on the left side and you can see I am working with my right but holding everything with my left because I don't want it to move on me as I go. And if you want, you can glue each strand around, but I just find once you get it all in there, it doesn't move at all. So again, we're gonna do the four rounds of our rope. I'm gonna bring that ribbon back across, but I like to glue it down. So I just put a little bit of glue down, then I'm gonna bring that ribbon over and I'm gonna place it on the glue and then I do like a little fold just to bring it around, just so it's nice and secured and I'm gonna have that beautiful ribbon showing the whole time. And of course that fold is hidden by our two rounds of rope. So again, we do the two rounds and we come back to the start of our pattern. We put our ribbon to the left-hand side and then I do my four rounds again. So it's four rounds with the ribbon on top, two with the ribbon below, and I finish off my entire wreath doing this. And it just so happened I was lucky that I could end off with two rounds, so I cut the excess ribbon, and then I finish my wreath off with the two 
on top of our ribbon and all of the little cuts and glue marks they are all hidden with our rope once that's done i'm just going to cut the excess off and i'm going to glue that last bit of rope down like i said this whole wreath took six of those packages so it's six packages and one package of the ribbon in order to complete this base wreath right here not including the bow and for our bow today i do have the chevron pattern and the polka dot pattern and i am cutting these at 18 inch lengths so i'm cutting four of the polka dot pattern and i'm cutting a couple of the chevron pattern so i have four and three for those and all i'm going to do for the bow is just fold it in half grab it at the center squish it in and then i'm going to hold it with my two piece fingers and then i'm going to take my next pattern do the exact same thing fold it in half find my center and then put it in between those piece fingers so i just do that for the rest of the bow all of my pieces are going to be done exactly the same way and you can notice i didn't do a dovetail at the bottom of my or at the ends of the ribbons i wanted to do something a little bit different i always do dovetails and i always love it but this time around i thought you know what i think i'm just going to leave it square they were good cuts so i was happy with it and here you go we are almost done we have all the loops on one side and all the tails on the other side and then I'm just going to grab very quickly a pipe cleaner, bend it in half, and then I'm going to transfer all the material to one hand while I twist with my left hand. And that's going to secure all our ribbons together with our bow. And what I usually like to do with my bows when I have tails is I like to separate the tails. So I'll fluff them out a little bit, just get them a little bit more organized so I can bring that pipe cleaner down and that's going to attach around our wreath. And we can fluff it up a little bit. And when we're done, we have our beautiful bow ready for our wreath. And speaking of wreath, here we go. So we're adding our finishing touches all together. I'm taking a little bit of twine to hang that heart right in the middle. So I'm just kind of bringing it up, seeing how far I want it to hang down. And really all I'm going to do is tie a knot with that rope. And then it's going to secure nicely. Once I chop off the excess, I find out where the best place for that heart is going to be. And then once that's done, now I'm just going to attach my bow using those pipe cleaners, wrapping it around the back, and then twisting it in place, and making sure that's not going to go anywhere. And then I am all done with my little rustic Valentine's Day wreath. Of course, I have to fluff up my bow. You guys know I love to fluff up my bow. <laughs> and here we go. We have our rustic jute rope and burlap ribbon Valentine's Day wreath with a big heart right in the center. I just love how this turned out. And I love this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed this wreath and this video. Thank you so much for watching and joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye for now.